Hi, my name is Paweł Spychalski and every time the Samsung of Matek sends me a message Hey Paweł, we have this new cool thing and we are sending this to you. Here's your tracking number. It will be at your door in the next few days. I know that almost, no, always, it's something at least very interesting. And in this time, this time, it's also something very interesting. It's a flight controller. Uh, it's called the Matek F722PX. Let me... Bring it closer to you. I will see the, the, the logo of Matek. Matek says F722PX. And on this side, it does not look like much. Only you might ask yourself a question why the logo and the arrow pointing where the front is, is on the bottom side. No, this is not the bottom side. This is actually the top side of the flight controller. All the electronics and the gyro, and this is the default configuration, are on the bottom side of the flight controller. It might not sound like much of a difference which side is up, this side or this side, but it kinda is. It kinda is when you realize that you have to install like this, all the cables are like this, when you are soldering cables to the pads you do not actually have to worry that your soldering iron will slip and you will hit some kind of the SMD elements over there. No, this side is just completely flat and for unexperienced users it kinda actually simplifies the process of soldering substantially. Really, this really simplifies things. Next, on this side, however, you might notice that there is no SD card slot because this board, this is pretty unusual for Matek. They usually either have the SD card slot or do not have any black box capabilities built in. This one over here has a windbound flash chip that can hold up to 32 megabytes of your black box logs, which is really plenty. I'm not the biggest fan of the flash black box logs, but this is me. Next, uh, as you can see, some uh, capacitors, so that means there's a voltage regulator. It says it has 8 volt output, slightly unusual, but kind of makes sense. Almost all the electronics you might connect to this will work on the 8 volt output. Uh, you see this? This board over here, this chip over here, it is the Eversky Graphical OSD. Yes, this board has a potential to become the first graphical, US, graphical OSD equipped board of the market if nobody else will beat them. I not heard anything about the competition, so maybe there will be the first ones. And if my informations are correct, the manufacturing should happen late December and the board has the good chance to hit the market in the Q1 of 2020. We will, by the way, we will see how this chip is working in the second part of the video when I will connect the VTX and put the, uh, how it's called, the LCD screen over here. So we will be able to observe if this thing is really working. I hope so. I never really tried this yet. And uh, what else? There are 10 outputs, uh, 10 outputs from S1 to S10, so plenty. There are five let me count one, two, three, four. Yeah, there are five serial, five serial ports. There is an input for the RSSI, IR sensor, camera switcher over here. There is a specially, you can turn the camera off on by uh, another pad. And uh, what else? Also, five volts USB LED uh, and uh, stand and I to see. So it's really a full blown flight controller. You might ask why this thing has the airspeed sensor when this form factor is actually for drones, not for airplanes. Yeah, good question. Because there is this thing. This thing is called the F seven two two PX dash W, which is the power distribution board for this thing and a few things more. You connect the standard ESC plug over here. You put it like uh, this. Yeah, you put it like this or like, ah, like this with a standoff, standard 
standards. You have bottom side flat so you can put it on, in your airplane with a glue or, or a tape. You have top side flat. You have a small PDB that allows you to solder two ESCs for the aeroplane. You have 10 outputs over here. You have big chunky voltage regulator to power this thing. And with this extra board, you convert the board that designed for drones into the board that designed for the aeroplanes. Really like, why nobody else thought about this before? Really like, great, great, great idea. It's not perfect though, because the standard ESC 4-in-1 cable can have only four motors, so if you want to have all the 10 outputs, you have to connect the second cable over here, uh, but there is no plug over here, so you have to solder this by yourself into the, into the port over here, but still it's doable and with a, a little soldering skills you can do it without any problem so really like yeah someone put a lot of thought into this design with this new idea for the form factor we will see if this catch up but remember that Mate actually came up with the original wing idea of the flight controller wing idea maybe this will be good too we will see what else to do i think only one thing i will connect the vtx and we will see if the graphical OSD on this thing really works and uh, if this is any better than the traditional OSD char actor, char actor OSD we use right now. So let me do the soldering right now. The hardware is here, relatively simple VTX receiver. Matek F722PX and let's see if the OSD works. I know it works because I checked before I started recording. There are some problems with the sensing of the image. I suspect this is because of this is really like El Chipo thingy over here and this is just somehow shifted to the side or maybe something else is going on. I really have no idea. What you can see, that really the image in the, from the graphical OSD by FR Sky over here looks almost exactly like on the character ones. As long as we are talking about the characters, the fonts are the same, you upload the fonts in the same way, exactly the same fonts letters. The only differences are when we, right now that we can see, are about the artificial horizon and the ladder. It is really graphical. It's not made from character. So when it moves, it really moves with the one pixel of accuracy. It's much, much, really much more smoother than the movement that we can see with the standard character OSD. So everybody that we're hoping for, nobody know how cool of the image quality. Well, this is how it works. We are still limited with analog transfer signal, the limited uh, number of lines or, uh, over here. This is only PAL or the NTSC. It's not that it's HD picture out of nowhere, but I really would have to say that this is really a step forward. The best part about this is that you can, the developers or INAF or Betaflight or other softwares can add elements, graphical elements without the modifying the firmware on the OSD itself. It can work as a canvas, you just paint on it and it's really limited by the creativity of the developer of the flight flight software, what they can put over here in the, in the screen. So, better? Perfect? I would say maybe not yet. The DJI thingy is definitely better, but one step at a time. Right, so that's all for today. I'm really looking forward for, to seeing this board in its final version. Uh, because it really, really, really might be interesting option if it catches up. It's slightly unorthodox, it's slightly different, might work great, market might buy it, market might not buy it. We will see after a few months of this board being on the market, which will happen Q1 of 2020. That's all for today, until the next one. Bye-bye.